Yeah. What's up you guys? Welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're gonna be installing the air deflectors, otherwise known as window visors. It's a super simple install, really easy to do, only a couple minutes. Everything you need to do this install is provided inside. Let's go ahead and get into the video and I'll show you how it's done. Let's go ahead and open these up. So if you did get for the double cab, it's gonna of course come with four, two for the rear, two for the front. And if you notice, for the two front doors, it is gonna have their AVS logo on there. If you do wanna remove that, it's really easy. All you need is some WD-40 and some hand motion, and it's gonna go ahead and remove that. I'm gonna go ahead and leave mine on. It doesn't bother me, but if you do wanna remove it, I'm just giving you that tip. It comes with everything you need to go ahead and install these, which is this here. It's gonna give you some alcohol wipes for each window, and it's gonna give you the directions. Right, so you wanna go ahead and pick up the one you're gonna be starting with. I'm starting with my right passenger side. Like I had stated, it's really easy to install these bad boys. Remove this plastic here that's on there. All right. once you've done so, you wanna go ahead and lower your window. Once you lowered your window, you wanna go ahead and pick up the provided pad. With this thing, you, you usually do wanna get a little water bucket and maybe just some microfiber towel. The reason why is because we're gonna be cleaning the inside of this channel here because they are in-channel visors. They don't go on the outside. So that's one thing that I really like about these and why I chose this uh, type of style. So like I stated, if you guys do have a little water bucket or anything like that, it will help in foaming this up and just go ahead and clean it. If you don't, it's fine. We're just gonna kind of use it as sandpaper in a way. So you wanna go ahead and insert it and just kind of clean the in-channel where the visor's gonna sit. You wanna make sure to do this step because it's just gonna be the bonding point for the visor. Make sure you do it thoroughly. So once you've done it thoroughly, like I said, if you did put water on this, then after you wanna go ahead and just kinda wipe it away, make sure it's clean. Once you've done that, now you wanna go ahead and get the alcohol wipes provided. There is one for each side, so don't worry. You can abuse it and do whatever you want with it and clean. Once you're satisfied with the cleaning, this dries really quickly. So once it's dry, then you wanna go ahead and get your new window visor that you're gonna be installing. You don't wanna remove everything right now. You just wanna go ahead and peel off the front up to maybe right here. And then you wanna go ahead and peel the back up to maybe right here. I'm only gonna peel it about there. Do the back side. I'm only gonna peel it about there. So once you have the tape in this position now, like I had stated, I only removed some of it from here on the back side, and I only removed some of it from the front side. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the front. So we're gonna go ahead and feed this into the channel, just like that. Feed it in, feed it in. Once you fed it through, now you wanna go ahead and bring it up. Now you can remove the whole thing. When you're feeding it through, before you put pressure on this, you wanna make sure you can't see any of the 3M tape. I don't know about you guys, but I know that's gonna bother me if I could see the 3M tape. So just kinda of line it up accordingly. Once you're satisfied with your line, you wanna go ahead and grab it from each end and pull it towards you. Hold it for a couple seconds. Just kinda of pull it towards you. Hold it for a couple seconds. Pull it towards you. Once you feel it's kind of tight on there, this next step is pretty satisfying. All right, so for this next step, you wanna just go ahead and roll up your window. By doing so, the window is just creating pressure onto the visor, onto the in-channel. So that's gonna be pretty much the pressure to hold it in, if that makes sense. So that's what we're gonna do now. And not just me stating this, but in the directions that come provided, it does say to wait 72 hours before lowering your window. But if you're not satisfied on the way you mounted the in-channel visor, you wanna go ahead and lower your window down really quick, pop it off, and just kind of feed it back around. 
Once you've done so, you wanna repeat this step just to make it pressurized. So I'm satisfied with mine. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. That's how it looks. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start with the rear. So now for the second one. Uh, this is gonna be the harder one. No, I'm just messing around. Uh, it's really simple. It's gonna be the same exact steps as the front side. And get the alcohol wipe. So we're gonna go ahead and peel this away right here. The plastic that does come provided. I'm assuming this plastic is uh, because a lot of people were complaining that these were coming scratched. So I'm assuming that's why they put plastic on them now. So we're gonna do the same steps. So let's go ahead and remove just part of it. All right, so I just removed part of it. Uh, before doing so, if I was you guys, even before removing this uh, little backside to it, uh, you want to go ahead and make sure, line it up, make sure it fits, make sure you have the correct side and you're not installing the opposite side. So I've already done so off camera, so I know this one is for the right rear. Now that we have the visor in this position here, of course have your window down. Let's go ahead and bring in one side. Once we brought the other side, now you can bring it in, align it. Like I had stated, make sure you can't see any of the 3M tape. Once you're satisfied with your line, apply the pressure, bring it towards you. Now we're gonna go ahead and roll up the window. I'm satisfied with that, so I don't have to repeat the step. If you're not satisfied, like I had stated, and you see the 3M tape, you wanna go ahead and roll it down, repeat the steps. Up next, we're gonna go ahead and do the same exact steps to the other side. Once we're done, if you want, go ahead and stay tuned. So the purpose of these air deflectors, or window visors, whatever you wanna call them, uh, the purpose of these is on a rainy day, if you do wanna go ahead and get your some fresh air inside of the cab, and you don't wanna turn on the AC, these just allow some fresh air to come in with having your windows down without the water getting in. That's pretty much how it looks. I'll go ahead and give you cinematics as well at the end of this video. So now that it's all installed, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it looks, and then I'll go ahead and give you some cinematic shots. So let's go ahead and show you how it looks, like I said. So as you can tell, it gives it a newer appearance. It looks a lot better, at least in my opinion. If you guys do like how it looks and how it turned out, let me know in the comment section below. I mean, look at this beast now. Who's been here since like the truck was stock? I wanna know. I mean, if you guys stay till the end, let me know in the comment section below how long you have been here, if you've been here from the beginning of when I first started this truck build, because I mean, in my opinion, it's gone a long way. I don't know about you guys, but it looks really good. Let me, let me know. All right, so this is how they look close up. So they are in channel, like I had stated. In channel just means they go inside rather than outside up here. Uh, to me, that's a cleaner look. It's a lot better. Uh, that way, if you ever remove them, it doesn't give that nasty, ugly glue out here. So, looks really good. And another thing, I know I keep repeating it, but I know someone's going to ask me. If you do want to remove this little logo here from AVS, just get some WD-40, some hand grease, and it should remove. I've seen people do it, and it works. So, it looks really good.
If you guys like this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.